what is up everybody welcome back to jam racing a little different style we haven't gotten back to racing yet but uh definitely we're doing some different videos out here we are st we're here in the beautiful island of puerto rico um this is where nicole was born and raised uh, this is where my family was born and raised so we're here on this beautiful island it is amazing i'm gonna get you guys some more shots i know i've been been lacking and slacking um a little bit of recap excuse me a little bit of recap we were supposed to get here Wednesday. Wednesday evening we were supposed to show up. But due to traffic in Orlando, we missed our flight. Someone was not very happy. <laughs> uh, so we ended up changing times and flying out first thing in the morning. We ended up staying with Gabe. Thanks, Gabe. Uh, you guys know Gabe from White Knuckle Racing. He's been on the show multiple times. Um, and December is going to be race season again. So. In between then, we're, you know, taking time, spending time with family, uh, having a good time. And here, if you guys know, Miguel and I love beer. All right, there's no, no secret about it. <laughs> we really enjoy it. So we're here in Puerto Rico at our buddy's Zerk Brewery, right? He is the, uh, the owner and uh, the, brew mat, the brewer. Uh, it's an amazing tasting beer. It's all over the island. It's making its way to the states. He's going to talk us through the process. Uh, tell us a little bit how it's made. Um, amazing beer. If you guys zerk, you guys check it out. Uh, the intro will be one of the pictures. So go check out that beer, guys. Thanks for following. Thanks to all subscribers. Uh, super happy. Can't wait to um, you know. Can't wait to keep expanding, keep growing. Uh, carding is still our main focus, but since we're taking a little downtime, we're here uh, putting a little bit different context. You guys saw the drag racing videos with my buddy's trucks. Uh, here you're going to see a little brewery video. So definitely excited. Let's get this going. Come on inside. Much math for me. Even though I love math, there's way too much math. What? Even though I like math, there's way too much math. Yeah. No, I have to throw off. This is work. Look at this angle. Look. If you can stand like at one point here, you see it says Zerk and then it has like the actual beer. Yeah, but we're not gonna stand like that. No, like maybe like a wrap up or something. So people can actually see like what's going on. Like you can't see the fans. That's why I went to the uh, the front, I, I in front of the door. And he just walked away. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, he's uh, washing kegs out. It's a very uh, tedious process. The machine does all the work, but it's very tedious. His job is to, as you see, he wipes it down to make sure they look pretty. But actual washing, he doesn't do any of the washing anymore. He got this machine, does all the washing. But he used to wash it by hand, so he used to wash the, the uh, the kegs by hand. Woo. Man, that's uh that's a little insane. This this room right here is where we're standing, is where he makes the beer. It starts off with adding the grain and then the whole process through. Uh I asked him, uh like a lighter beer takes somewhere between two weeks to do from start to finish. Uh more technical takes like a month. So when you guys open a beer and drink it, appreciate the time that it took to make it. I know I do. That's why I drink multiple of them to make sure they appreciate it a lot. In here in the back is where he keeps all his grain and all his ingredients. It's all refrigerated. Everything is very scientifically put out. And then don't I've I've had some of the beer. It is grade A. If you're in Georgia area, Lawrenceville, are you uh, Atlanta Moore Sports Sparks guys? You guys are near Lawrenceville. Go check out. He has a, 
little distributor up there distributing his beer so they have all over the area you guys come to puerto rico lakeland florida lakeland florida new orlando near tampa not too far from jacksonville are you carters up there i know i know you guys like to drink beer all up in that area this is juan this is the brewer he's the one that makes this delicious beer his company so let's uh let's start off how do we how do we start the start process to making beer yes sir yes sir so when we start is in the middle uh, we we mill the, the grain uh actually we we get the water the water in the hot liquid tank first get it to temperature uh transfer the water to the mash tun and we blend it uh uh, simultaneously with the uh, grain getting milled and transferred through the auger down to the match and we get the mixture to uh, a certain mash temperature we do a protein rest and then we do a, a an alpha rest a secondary rest where we get the the fermentable sugars uh, just to to the exact point where we want conversion to to that specific beer style. Each each beer style that I make have a different set of temperatures uh, that we have to play with. So anyway, you you do a mash for like 60 minutes, uh, and then after the mash is done, we transfer it to the kettle. In the kettle we do the boil. In the boil we add the hops. We add bittering hops at the beginning, and then at the end we add flavoring hops. Depending on what beer, uh, it, uh, it varies the, the hops that we use and the time of exposure that we give it to. For a juicy IPA, it tends to be more at the end, but we want those juicy flavors to come through. And uh, what else? I mean, can you pick this up? This is, this is uh, our juicy IPA, and this is one of the ones that we use Citra and Mosaic hop, very juicy, very popular, very tropical, very beautiful. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're cleaning eggs. Might as well just shake it and put two new, new ones. Once we finish uh, uh, doing the boil, um, we transfer the beer to the fermenter. It's, it goes through a heat exchanger where cold liquor passes or chilled water comes from that vessel, that one in that, that tank over there. And we, we do a counter current flow, it's like a radiator. So we chill the wort from 212 Fahrenheit to, uh, it depends on the beer and what what this pitching temperature we need to get it at, but we take it down from 212 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit in one pass. And we basically, those batches are 155 gallons, and this is 155, 155, those are 300 gallons. So for the, to fill those up, I need to do two, two batches. Huh. Yeah, those are conical fermenters, and these are, uh, bottom, ditch bottom fermenters. So a little more tricky on those, but if you do beers that are not dry up, you can do beers in those times. Uh, so the beer sits here for a couple weeks, depending on what style, if it's an ale, two weeks, if it's a lager, double that. And uh, once the beer is fermented and it's ready to get transferred, it's full crash, we cold crash it to the, uh, let all the uh, suspended solids precipitate. We transfer it to the bright where it gets carbonated and we get a crispy, clean, light. Um, you can see it. Uh, I'll edit this out. <laughs> so this is, it's, it gets very loud and noisy. The noise you're hearing is from the compressor to uh, clean the tanks to the uh, the kegerators, not the kegerators, the kegs. So that's what the noise you're hearing is just kicking on, kicking off. 
So as it gets a little loud in here, uh, this is not easy work. As you guys see, there is a process from start to finish. It does take a minute. There's a lot of science behind it. Uh, so really, you, what you want is like, this is some, this, I mean, this is how beer is made. Uh, you know, from start to finish. It's, it's really a process that gets to it. And this is seven days a week. It's not, uh, it's not, you know, let it go and, and don't check on it. You gotta come by through time to time and check on it. So definitely, it is, it is a process. But, you know, the product in the end, the satisfaction is, you know, you get a product that comes out, it is fresh, great tasting. You know, hard work in the end does pay off. Of course, nobody wants a nasty keg, so you, you gotta make sure you clean it for sure. I mean, he is non-stop working. So now to the final step that we were speaking of. <laughs> Yeah, it's almost uh, purging CO2 right now, purging air with CO2. Oh yeah, he wants to make sure he has a good CO2 seal. That's the most important part, if yeah. not the beer goes crap. Nobody likes crap beer. So once that beer is uh, carbonated, we, we kick it. And it goes up. The distributor does the rest. That's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Yes, sir. Like I said earlier, guys. It's you're, easy, yeah, but easy. You're in, there's Lawrence, Florida, uh, Georgia, Lakeland, Florida. He's making his, his way to the States. He's all over the island, Puerto Rico. Uh, so all you Carters, I know next to Atlanta Motorsports Park, like I said earlier, make sure you get out there. Don't be lazy, it's not that far from the track. Uh, all the guys in Orlando, Tampa, Lakeland's halfway in between you guys. I know, I know most of you jokers live out there. Yeah, if you but, go to Lakeland, you can you can try the Sweet Caroline Hellas Lager at the tap room in Brew Up. That's the name of the brewery. But if you want to try the Hobdusa or try many of the other beers that Glenn Sprouse is the master brewer and Jade is the lead brewer uh, in Iron Shield, uh, it's, this is a free promotion for them, but go to Iron Shield. They make very good beers. Iron Shield. Lawrence. Here, Lawrence Brewers. Lawrence. All right, guys. I'm gonna cut this video here. I'm gonna enjoy me some uh, brewskis. Don't know what time. Might be later. Might be now. You know how I am. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Catch you guys on track. <laughs> Well, this is by far one of the most beautiful places in the world. If you had a chance to visit Puerto Rico, you need to. Uh, I just want to do a closing here. I know my first closing wasn't that good, but hope you guys enjoyed it. I've slacked on videotaping because I was just taking in all the sights myself. So, hope you guys enjoy. Catch you guys on track. I'll see you back in the States.